Over time, these massive SIM cards have been getting progressively smaller and smaller, and nowadays we can even do away with these minuscule cards, thanks to eSIM technology. Especially this is relevant when traveling, when upon arrival in some country you don't have to think about where to get a local SIM or Wi-Fi. Here I'll show you in detail how to install, activate and set up the Aerolo eSIM using the iPhone 15 as an example. It's important that your device isn't tied to a cell phone plan and let's check this right away. Let us proceed to the settings, the fundamental aspects, regarding this particular device that we are currently using. Scroll down to the section, carrier lock, and if you see this SIM card without any restrictions here, it means that your device is not tied to a mobile operator. Alright, first things first, we gotta download the Air Allo app. You can do this right on the website by clicking on the link in the description. Sign up. I think you'll figure it out. When registering and purchasing the first eSIM traffic package, I recommend using a referral code or a discounted link with a 10% discount, which I will leave in the description of this video. You simply need to click on the link and purchase an eSIM. You have the option to purchase an eSIM for specific countries or for a region, which encompasses multiple countries simultaneously. We choose the package that we need. Pay attention to the expiration date. The smallest package is for 1 GB and it's only for 7 days. But for 3 GB you can get it for a whole month. Here you have the option to check the list of countries that are included in this package. I made sure that the countries I need are included in this package. I'm heading back and hitting the buy now button. Scroll down, check the rules. In the previous video, there were questions specifically about this point. Click on buy. If you are utilizing a code, you should click on this button to apply the code and make use of my referral code, which I will leave in the description section. Or if you are using a discount link, you should simply proceed with the purchase and verify if the discount has been applied. If it doesn't activate through the app, just do it through the website. Agree to the terms, check the boxes, and then choose a payment method. After you have purchased an electronic SIM, you need to activate it. And for that, you need an internet connection. That is why I typically activate it prior to the flight and upon arrival, I just turn on the SIM card that is already installed and activated. I'll show you how to turn on and off at the end. And now I'm going to tell you about installing and activating an eSIM. Launch the app and initially, navigate to the eSIM section located at the bottom of the interface. The data package will be present if you have already purchased it. Secondly, we should proceed to the information tab. Thirdly, establishing eSIM. Fourthly, quick setup, I already had it configured as the default setting. As the fifth step, we need to install the eSIM. Then we press next, next again, install the eSIM, and finally we continue. Continue to activate eSIM. It took me approximately one minute to activate. After activation, we will need to set up our eSIM. And for that, we go to Settings, Cellular. We are interested in the section on eSIM cards here. This is our main eSIM. And here comes our new eSIM. Let us proceed to activate our eSIM. Additionally, you have the option to rename it. Please provide a label for the cellular traffic. You have the option to modify it to pre-existing names, or you have the choice to come up with something entirely your own. That is convenient if you make use of different electronic SIM cards in various countries around the world. And so, you don't have to install eSIM every time, you just need to top up your data package and activate it. Here we turn on data roaming, in some phones it's not necessary, but in the 11th iPhone for example, my internet didn't work if I didn't turn on data roaming. Also I recommend turning on data saving by going into data mode and setting it to economy mode, so that applications do not update automatically and in general the phone saves traffic. 
When traveling, you don't necessarily have to bring your main number with you on your phone. You can simply turn it off. He powers off and on just like an embedded SIM. After navigating to settings, cellular data, and in the subscriber identity module card section, accessing the primary one and simply toggling the switch to activate this number. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. I hope it was helpful. Have a good connection to you.